Hello folks, welcome to P-Train Productions. Uh, today video, I'm gonna be doing a, a in-depth review of my uh, wonderful Android head unit that I installed on my 2009 RAV4 three weeks ago. So I've been using it for three weeks now, so it's time to uh, get a more detailed uh, review of the uh, this radio. Okay, here folks, this is my uh, Android 10.0 head unit from Wandifu that I installed three weeks ago and it's been running good so far. And as you can see, this is the radio and the external microphone, I put it right here, just right around the, uh, under the uh, comfy meter garnish there and my GPS antenna. USB plugs. I ordered extra plug from uh, AliExpress uh, to make it more like factory looking. So I got two USB over here and one running under here to the this port. I'm still waiting on my order. So when it comes, I'm gonna put right here. Okay. Anyway, so now I just want to make two corrections that people may have concern with regarding to the panel lights right here. So, you know, they said that uh, the light might be malfunctioning if you turn on, turn off the headlamp, but that depends on your setting. So to fix that, if you have it, when you go to setting, and car, element now you have it on this multi color changing automatic color changing setting then you may run into a problem if you turn on to, uh, turn on turn off the headlight so right now it stopped working because maybe i don't know something to do with the the cycle of uh, changing color So now if I change to Pacific color, let's say I go green. So now it's green. So th there's a matter when you turn on, turn off the headlight. The light, the panel light still lit or dim. Depends on your setting, but it doesn't go out completely. So that's a one fix for, for this uh, panel light color. Okay, I'm gonna keep it green for now. Another fix peop, uh, that people are complaining about the uh, wrong radio spec. So it's depending on what you order. Uh, so that's what you get. And there's so many options on uh, the uh, AliExpress websites there. Now I got this one from uh, Navi Unit. So, and I basically double check with the seller before I order. And they suggested me to get this unit with uh, built-in wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. So and I want to show you the uh, uh, spec of this unit. So model PX6, 2080 by 720, Android 10. Now again, this is the real Android 10 version. Not the fake one like some people said on YouTube there. And got other dates here, May 5th version, CPU, memory, supposed to be 4 gig. I don't know why it shows 3.8 there. And storage supposed to be 64. So that's the setting. Let's go back to the home screen. So this is my home screen. I have navigation, music, radio. And next one, I got YouTube, Spotify, Bluetooth, music, video, and Bluetooth audio there. I got some more navigation 
here. Z-Link is the app that connect to uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. There's a app installer, amplifier, clock, DVR. I don't have any DVR. There's a digital radio thing. I don't have it either. Gmail, Maps, Play Store, Google, uh, Bluetooth indicator. There's location. Look. There's a location setting and time and there's a neat one over here it tell me the car battery voltage right now at 12.5 there i got a camera here just to take the screenshot there you go and got the volume control that mute oh just yeah you can control the volume right on up over here on my steering wheel or on the side here volume control then that's just the exit oh that's it so this function brightness i can adjust the brightness at a different oh it increases Every time I tap on it, hmm. I'll go back to low. There you go. Then this one is a uh, how many apps running in the background? I got Spotify, YouTube, Z Ling setting. Okay, let's go to setting here. I want to turn on the Wi Fi to show you the Wi Fi connection you can connect to your home network. To download apps and stuff like that so then I can run YouTube on here uh, where's YouTube we got YouTube there got my groceries and five times the points music there wow, wow, wow. okay and go back I can go to the app stores. App store, I can download any apps I like. There. Map. I use Wave. Okay, in terms of down here, I got volume control, setting, uh, DSP setting. Let's play video then over here your power turn on turn off the radio with this and it's the brightness setting it's like on, up and down i mean left to right to change the brightness and this is a D dsp setting so got the equalizer and i got a dsp setting got user one two three setting so let me turn on music uh music So you get a more beat, more power when I turn on this loudness. Well, these two I don't buy in the use. Hmm, maybe Phantom. The bass cut. I get, get less bass. So this power button to mute the units, uh, the sound. Right. 
Okay, now let's get out. Okay. Now, Apple CarPlay. In terms of wireless, Apple CarPlay is right here. So now it's trying to connect to one of our phone, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect my with my. So what I do, I go to Bluetooth setting and connect to this is the uh, car kit setting. Now this Apple CarPlay is neat, but uh, uh, with the auto connect, the auto connect setting over here. You have a setting here, auto connect. It doesn't auto connect all the time. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work really in the minute. So it shows me right here, the use Apple CarPlay. Use CarPlay, so I tap and use it. So now it's connecting. Oh, dropping my phone. Now, so it's connected to my uh, phone right there. So now it's my iPhone is connected to this radio. I can ask uh, Siri to play music. Hey Siri, play music. Here's some music from your library. There you go. Hey Siri, stop the music. Okay. Hey Siri, open maps. Yes. Hey Siri, open ways. There you go. Hey Siri, take me to McDonald's. One option I found is McDonald's on Woodlawn Road West. Let me know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. So that's my Apple CarPlay right there. That's wireless Apple CarPlay. It's not connecting to any wire. My home screen ways and basics uh, Apple CarPlay setting. We got map. You can play music here. Even when you have Apple CarPlay, you can either use the play the music from your headphone or from your phone, or you can play the music from the radio. Right now, I'm really placing the, playing the music from my radio, but then I start to play the music with my phone. We we'll take over the radio music. So that's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto should be working the same thing, I guess. Let's say I don't want to use Apple CarPlay. So then I just connect my phone to Bluetooth. Then I can uh, use this to make phone call, receive phone call from uh, my phone through this radio. I can also connect to personal hotspot on my phone to get into the internet from my uh, from the radio so now then I connect go home setting now connect to my phone personal hotspot uh, under Wi-Fi Wi-Fi connection. I have to turn it on. All right. So with this radio is connected to uh, 
the internet, I can use Google Assistant from this uh, radio by tapping my microphone. Hey Google. Here are some results. Hey Google, how's the weather today? Today in Guelph, it'll be clear with clouds from time to time, with a forecasted high of 27 and a low of 8. Currently, it's 26 degrees and sunny. Hey Google, open Waze. Opening Waze. We got now this backup camera. So let's turn on the power. That's my backup camera there, and I'm inside a garage. These lines are optional. I can turn on and turn off that right now. I have it on. Okay, fan up. Now we go to the car setting. Extra setting. Now over here, rear. Let's see, rear view ruler, I have it on, I know one, two, three, with the different lines, I say go one. Now I go back to reverse. Uh, looks like the same image. Now I can turn that off, I have it off. So there's no line. So it's kind of a cool feature to have it on, just to, uh, to see the reference line, let's have it on, let's see. There you go. So that's my backup camera. That's it. This is the uh, Android 10.0 head unit from 1D4. And the uh, store I bought it from is a uh, Navi unit. So, if you guys are interested, check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please remember like and subscribe.